Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be checking Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed. So obviously a sequel to a very successful first game, Destroy All Humans. Um, two, two years ago there was a remake of that game. And now we've got the sequel, which has been optimized for Series S and X consoles, PlayStation 5 as well, I think. I'll be checking this game on Xbox Series X, so without any further ado, let's just dive in. Um, let's start a new game. Yeah, whatever. Um, as always, you know, uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you like that kind of content, I cover all kinds of Xbox games on this channel and uh, I would really appreciate all support. I mean, you know what they say, sharing is caring. Yeah, so um, uh, let's just dive in into the game. Um, now, as always on the channel, I tend to skip cutscenes because you're not here to watch CGI's. You are here to, well, check the gameplay, of course, right? So, um, let's uh, see what's going on here. Let's just play with a, with some humans. Something bad is happening here. Um, there we go. I mean, I can... You know what? I don't know what's going on, but um, there's some weird stutters. Uh. Yeah, let's just get rid of these uh, humans. There we go. So we've got these special abilities and stuff. Uh, he's there. Okay, so graphics wise, this game is um, an improvement over the previous one. Um, so, well, first off, this title has been optimized for serious consoles. Uh, so that's why we are getting, it looks 94K to me, to be honest with you, because it's very sharp. So it looks 4K and it's running at 60 frames per second. Now I have no idea what was that stutter all about the um, earlier, but uh, as you can see now it's well, actually no, I'm getting these stutters once for a while. So I don't know what's going on here because the game actually runs at 60 frames per second. Now, nah, well, there's some frame rate drop drops actually. If you, th yeah, there is a bit of a judder, maybe because there's a lot of. Um, these particle effects stuff I don't know I wonder if there's actually if they are working on some sort of patch because another thing is that there's no uh, options uh, controller audio video there's no modes right there's only one mode 4k 60 at least for series s and x consoles right i mean the series x consoles so yeah it's not it's not perfect 60 i mean it's more than playable especially if, you go, if you've got vrr uh, monitor or tv but it's not it's not locked 60 i can tell you straight away and as always, you know what that what I say. You don't really need a digital farm to tell you that because um, it's actually quite visible, if you know what I mean. Oh. Let's uh, electrocute this guy over here. Yeah, okay, let's just keep the cutscenes as always. Um, I'm not here to... 
But you know what? Before I skip that, I noticed that there's some um, uh, issue with texture loading. So you can see right now, like these textures are kind of loading in the background. So that's not really good. Like, looks like this game could use some extra optimization on these consoles. And we're talking about like a console that has, a, you know, fast SSD and stuff. So this is not Xbox One we're talking about here, right? So. Anyway, let's let's go collect data. Yeah, it's not perfect. Yeah, well, it's a shame. And there's no like there's no modes to choose from. You know, it's actually pretty bad. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, that game actually need 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 a patch. So uh, hold on, where do I need to go? This way. Yeah, and it's actually a bit juddery all the time. Bye bye. I should go this way. I mean, the, this game actually l looks good, but you can see it's like dropping frames. It's not smooth 60 frames per second. You don't mess with me. And it's a it's a shame because the very fir the first game had options and like this uh, performance mode was per was great like um, stable 60 frames per second no frame rate drops and that's not really the case it's a bit of a juddery mess I would say I mean the game is fun don't get me wrong but I I, I feel like. Yeah, this game needs needs some extra optimization. Okay, so how do I get the other to this one, I think? Hmm. This way. Yeah, because graphics looks better, everything is sharper. But it requires quite a lot of um, work in my opinion, because there's this, there's these big stutters. Uh, but also, you know, the frame rate is in inconsistent, so that's not great. Bye bye. Oh, I've got jetpack. Cool. Okay, so let's go there. Look, look, mom, I'm flying, I'm flying. Alert a data core. Yeah, and not, not only frame rate is inconsistent, you've got we've got these um, fra like stutters when I think when more data needs to be loaded. So I'm not sure what that's all about. Is 
corruption Anyone else? This guy. Again. Let's throw some bin. Okay, mission complete. Well, in only 90%, so use the dislocator to destroy KGB cars. Okay, well, uh, I didn't know that I had to do it, or I didn't pay attention. Either way, I didn't do it. Guys, so first off, the game is fun, right? And it's, yeah, it's more than playable, I would say. Um, there's these starters when new data needs to be loaded, so that's a bit a shame that it's there because these are quite significant starters. Um, and there's inconsistent frame rate, so it's not locked 60 frames per second. That's not locked 60 frames per second. There's uh, constant frame rate drops, um, and you don't need Digital Foundry actually to even tell you, right? So, you know, it's not it's not deal breaker, I, I would say, especially if you've got v a monitor or TV that supports VRR. But yeah, I mean, the game is still fun. So maybe wait for another update. If there's going to be an update, I will let you know. And uh, hopefully there will be an update. I, I will need to do a little bit of research on that. Because, guys, I played yesterday the... Uh, destroy all humans the the first one the remake from 2020 and it's perfect yes the resolution is lower but it's super smooth no frame rate drops no stutters nothing like that the game looks good plays great it's fun this one it's still fun don't get me wrong it's pretty much the same concept right the same um you know controls and everything but yeah these these technical issues kind of uh uh breaks the immersion a little bit so yeah i just wanted to let you know so anyway guys i will keep you updated on any updates and stuff and um uh, but so far so good i guess well it's like still a good game anyway thanks a lot guys for support really appreciate it make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always i will see you all in the next one take care